Ding dong, the bitch resigns, the bitch resigns, the bitch resigns. Ding dong, the evil bitch resigns. Don't tell your mother, kiss one another, die for each other, we're cold for the summer. Yes, folks, after several years of fucking torment, John Boehner, if, he, if I gotta be goddamned, he actually resigned. Well, okay, he hasn't resigned yet, but he is expected to resign somewhere, probably most likely near the end of October. Now, what I find funny about all this is this is the same man that, along with people like Ted Cruz, led a government shutdown a couple years ago, all because of Obamacare, their literal whole campaign during 2012 and their little literal campaign for the last several years has been to stalemate and block the Obama administration at every fucking corner. So it is quite interesting to finally see this man who literally has played, has prostituted himself to the Tea Party has finally resigned. And not only has he resigned, he seems to be making some statements that actually seem quite critical about the Republican Party, actually comparing them to trash and not having a whole lot of kind things to say about his, you know, this party that he so held with great esteem, which makes you, which really definitely does play into the, the real seriousness of the fractured nature of, that the GOP exists today, and quite frankly, probably the the very fractured path that it's about ready to break into and frankly the, due to the fascist nature that the right wing has gone in America. So I really find it funny that uh, Mr. Boehner has finally decided to resign, most also given his Catholic faith and the recent uh, visit by, by the Pope to Congress and to the UN recently, I find it also just wonderful timing that you know, some, maybe in some fashion, Boehner's having some sort of, you know, right-wing change of heart. You know, not one, obviously a change of heart that's going to make him, like, switch ideologies or go from, you know, staunch conservative, conservatism to, like, socialism or anything like that. But definitely, the whole, it definitely he has had some sort of, I guess, liberal, um, not liberal, uh, libertarian more awakening. He's had some sort of, some sort of, um, definitely moral awakening to realize that he needs to better himself as a Catholic. And quite frankly, as far as regards go to religion, you know, the Pope is actually fairly, is actually, is actually fairly liberal in some aspects. Now, granted, he does not personally believe in gay marriage, but he even stated not too long ago, who was, you know, who am I to judge? So, you know, in some, I mean, while he doesn't recognize same-sex marriages or same-sex partnerships or believe in it in any, any way, and quite frankly, a lot of areas he needs to work on, I find it quite interesting, though, that he is talking about what it's like to be a good Christian, much, you know, the helping the poor, um, uh, climate change, a lot of these different, like, very kind of bourgeois liberal aspects. So, at least as far as when you look at it from the the point of view of the rest of the world, um, conservatism, you know, liberalism is is considered classical liberalism. It's more of a, you know, right wing conservative value, but somewhere usually in the moderate conservative sort of realm. And that is exactly what Pope Francis is. He is a you know, he's a moderate, you know, a moderate um, conservative. And in that aspect, he believes in the actual, you know, in some actual teachings of Christianity, which obviously the right-wing Christians in America don't seem to understand, going so far as to call him a communist and claim that he's not a true Christian. You know, and so... And obviously there's been jokes being made and stuff like that in the media and uh, political cartoons and stuff like that, which I think are just hilarious. Um, but yeah, he's, um, 
that who knows what the whole case is though with um, John Boehner and why he truly decided to resign. Maybe perhaps, you know, it's because he's also getting older and, you know, politics just doesn't seem as interesting or as exciting as it used to be. And frankly, even even us Marxists have admitted that. Jason Unruh himself expresses deep, you know, resentment towards the first world and the lack of revolutionary potential that we have. And I agree with him. I mean, it does after a while, this whole being... Um, you know, the, the whole issue of politics, even though we still some will, you know, be active in it in some form or another, there gets to a point where you do like to take a step, a, few, a step or a few steps back and really analyze, examine life and, you know, just kind of sometimes even take, you know, stay out of the woodwork for a while. So, you know, it, politics does itself get stale and... Who knows? Maybe that is another reason why Boehner decided to do this. Maybe, perhaps, you know, Boehner is actually looking to become more of a family man rather than a politician who's away from his family as, as often as he is. Who knows what the case may be. But definitely quite an interesting aspect that he has decided to step down. Now, however, it does play an interesting role, though, and who will succeed him as Speaker of the House? There are many, there are many other more conservatives and even ultra conservative members within the Republican Party who would be more than happy to take his place. At the same time, it is also interesting as this close to an election year, as the next election cycle comes around, and with all that's going on, we may not exactly see a whole lot of people, you know you know, focusing on wanting to take the seat right away. So it will be interesting to see what might happen. Um, th there's a lot of people that have definitely expressed um, expressed some interest in it, and, you know, we will just have to see. Um, what I also wanted to point out, too, was that John Boehner's resignation, his, as well as his... Um, his kind of negative comments towards the Republican Party are also shared by Senator, uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. So it's quite interesting that these men that held, that once held their party with such esteem now seem to be doing a complete 180. So it does make you wonder the nature of where the Republican Party is going. It definitely doesn't, you know, make you kind of reopen this examination of the Republican Party and the, what is undeniably a very fractured organization. And as I've always stated, I do believe that the Republican Party may be on its way out. I do believe that it may be, it, that it is literally like a dying star. And frankly, the resignation of John Boehner may be one of the final nails in the coffin. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.